All right, here's a new piece, y'all. It is the gun cabinet that I got for, I think, $30. Um, it, it still has a working lock. Um, so there is a key to that lock. And then um, there are shelves and that part down there locks as well. So I think I'm gonna transfer and transform this into um, a small, tall um, towel cabinet to put in our uh, master bathroom so because we don't have a lot of towel space um, so I think that's what I'll do with this piece um, it's really dirty from being in storage for so long um, so I'm gonna clean it up first as you know I do and then I'll go ahead and um, start removing some parts that I don't need like the stock holders to hold the rifles that part um, and work, begin working on it. Okay, so I am going to be using this uh, Rust-Oleum Chalked Linen White color um, in the inside and on the outside. Um, I'm also going to paint all of the shelves and put the uh, shelf stays up, um, but I'll put the shelves in after I'm done painting because that makes it easier um i've already cleaned my brush and i took a little few little strokes in there and i'll go ahead and um put my first coat down and see if i need a second coat which i probably will um hoping not to use a third coat but we'll see Okay, so I am done with all of the painting and I just wanted to show you all a few things. I sealed the pieces, um, the piece twice with polycrylic. So I put two coats of this water-based uh, Minwax polycrylic on and let it dry for about an hour in between each piece. I don't think you have to wait that long, but that's how long it. I did it. And then, um, the second thing I did was went outside and used, I don't know if you can see it, but this Rust-Oleum uh, paint or spray paint in metallic gold, bright gold, um, because I wanted a brassy look and I think the pieces um, came out really good. So um, I think these are perfect. Um, so they've been drying. These I just sprayed again because I had to flip, of course, the handles over to spray the other side um, and then these pieces are done I like to stick the nail heads um, into cardboard um, so that they're upright and I can spray without there being any overlap and then of course the handle and the little notches so I'm going to put the piece back together you can see the window the glass door is done I also sprayed that down with some uh, glass cleaner and cleaned it off um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these pieces together so you can see what it looks like in its final resting space in the master bath. We have done it, y'all. This piece is complete. I turned this $30 gun cabinet into a linen cabinet in our master bathroom and it works perfectly it's small enough to fit in here without taking up too much space everything stays organized I have a bonus of that um, drawer at the bottom that I could store some things in and I think it looks fabulous I'm not done decorating it I'm um, gonna put a few other items in um haven't filled the bottom cabinet yet 
and um, that top up there I just threw a couple pieces but um, it'll hold some of my bath bombs and um, things like that so um, yeah I'm excited about this piece the hardware again I sprayed that did all the assembly put in the little hooks to hold the shelves together and went ahead and stuffed it with our fresh um, bath linen so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, it did take me a lot of the white uh, rust-oleum paint in fact I use maybe 75 percent of it of that quart size can on this piece uh, white does not cover as easily on darker pieces as any of the other colors um, so I would encourage you to either prime it or just be expected to use more chalk paint than you thought especially if you have a darker wood piece and this one seemed to just want to soak it up so um, after the chalk paint I did mm, four coats and then we did the polycrylic I did two coats of that that's all it needed um, and it's beautiful so like subscribe and share this video and there is uh, there will be more coming along I hope you enjoyed have a great day bye